Auto Car Confidential, McLaren, Jaguar, Audi, Geely. Our reporters empty their notebooks to round up this week's gossip from across the automotive industry. This week's gossip from the automotive industry brings news of McLaren's new customers, Jaguar's design director's thoughts on the decline of rotary controllers, Geely's focus on design and Audi's upcoming autonomous electric city car. McLaren's new customers More than half of buyers of the entry-level sports series McLaren's, such as the 540C and 570S, are new to the brand. Company boss Mike Flowett said it is crucial to the firm's long-term health, our hope is that, over time, a large proportion will move up to our Super Series models and be part of the McLaren family for years to come. Jaguar's design director's thoughts on the decline of rotary controllers While many car makers are ditching rotary controllers from the cabins of their latest models, Jaguar won't follow suit as long as design director Ian Callum is around. Referring to the rotary climate controls on the new E-Pace, which sit below a 10.0 in touchscreen, he said, I'm a great believer in tactile controls with a mechanic feel. It's not quite right for Jaguar, to have just touchscreens. Geely's focus on design Geely, owner of Volvo, Lotus, Link & Co and Lev, formerly known as the London Taxi Company, had just 15 designers five years ago. Today it employs more than 5,000 in Los Angeles, Barcelona, Shanghai, and Gothenburg. All design projects are overseen by Geely's British-born Executive Vice President of Design, Peter Horbury. Audi's Upcoming Autonomous Electric City Car Despite Audi's new A8 being equipped with the company's most advanced self-driving systems yet, the model will not lead the way for full autonomy. Product boss Peter Fromm described so-called Level 5 autonomy as a fully different concept than Level 3, which is offered on the A8. Instead, a city car to be introduced in 2021 will be Audi's first autonomous production car, and car.